Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm cooking up a batch of caramelized red onion. Caramelized onion can be enjoyed in so many ways. It's nice on a burger, on a salad. I love it with goat's cheese on a pizza. And the simplest way to eat it is with crackers and cheese. Okay everyone, let's get started. The first step is to place sliced red onions in a large saucepan. You can also use white if you prefer either. Pour in the olive oil and stir it into the onions. This amount of mixture will make three 390 gram jars of caramelized red onions so you're getting a nice amount. This will keep in a cool place for 12 months. It makes a lovely gift, whether it's for Christmas or for a birthday or for some special celebration. Now we just need to cook these in a medium heat and simmer for about half an hour. Stir a few times to prevent the onions from sticking or burning. The red onion is nice and soft now. Give it a good stir and now we can start adding all the other ingredients. Starting with light brown sugar, red wine vinegar, chopped garlic, mustard, a few chilli flakes if you like, and the final ingredient, balsamic vinegar. I use Dijon mustard, if you don't have that then you can use a whole grain mustard or any kind of cool mustard that you have. Balsamic vinegar is a nice ingredient to have in the cupboard as it can be used in so many dishes. Stir well to combine all the ingredients. Simmer uncovered so that it's bubbling gently for about one hour. Just look at that, it's a fabulous colour, it smells really sweet and looks delicious too. After one hour the red onions will have reduced and thickened and be a dark caramel colour. The mixture will set further as it starts to cool. Fill the jar to the top and seal it. It can be used once it's cooled. Homemade caramelised red onion is so easy to make. It's cheaper and nicer than anything you'll buy in the local store and it's so versatile you can use it on so many meals. I love caramelised red onion and pizza with slices of red onion and goat's cheese. And if you want to make a really simple pizza, why not check out my 15 minute pizza dough recipe, which can be made and baked in only 15 minutes. You'll find the recipe in the description box under the video. Don't forget to subscribe or follow my page so you don't miss out on my tutorials. Thanks for watching. Happy baking everyone and enjoy.